Grade 6 Math number 13.1. New chapter. Aren't you excited? Surface area and volume. So we're going to do solid figures and their nets. Not a fishing net. No. And not a net value. This is a unfolded shape. A solid figure has three dimensions, length, width, and height. They're identified by the shape of their bases. The number of bases and the shape of their lateral faces are surfaces. A net is a plane figure that can be folded into a solid figure. See? I have a 3D wedge here. And you can see it's got a top and a bottom. Does it look like a piece of cheesecake? It's got a square in the front, doesn't it? And look, there's a rectangle here, and there's a hidden rectangle on the other side. So it's got a base that it's sitting on, and actually the top is a base. It's considered base 1 and base 2. Here's the rectangle side that is folded along this line here. See, that's that line right there. And then there's the hidden rectangle on the other side around the back. See? And there's that front square. So, the lateral surface is any surface other than the base. So it's got one, two, three lateral surfaces and two bases, a top and a bottom, base one and base two. Okay? For this shape, it kind of looks like a cake, doesn't it? like a birthday cake or maybe even a hat box from the olden days. You can see that it's got a circular base that it's sitting on and it's got a circle for a base on the top like this, base one and base two. And the lateral surface is actually a large rectangle that's wrapping around. It wraps around like this. Sometimes when you get a cake it's got a sheet of plastic or cardboard around the outside of it and you have to peel it off yeah, it looks like that. And if it's a paper towel tube, if it's got caps on the end, they would have circles for the ends. And if you cut it right down here, if you take a paper towel tube and you cut it right down the side, you should try that because everyone's got paper towel tubes or even a toilet paper card cardboard, right? Cut it right down the sides in a straight line and you'll see that it's a big rectangle. Okay? You should try that. The net for a triangular pyramid has a triangle base that it's sitting on. And then it's got three triangular lateral faces. And when you open it up, it looks like this. And when you fold it back up again, the apex where it meets at the top is the tips right here, these vertus tips right here. See? The net for a box or a cube has a square base that it's sitting on. And it's got base one and base two, the top and the bottom. And then it's got four lateral sides. See? One, two, three, four sides that can fold up. And then if this is a fold line and this is a fold line, this side folds up and this one folds on top of it as the top base one or base two. See? It's got a top and a bottom. All right. The net for a pentagonal pr pyramid, see? It's got a pentagon bottom, so it's a pentagonal pyramid. And it's got five triangular sides, lateral faces. See? And when they fold up like this, the apex at the very, very top is these outside points, these outside vertices, see? And it can, they can all fold up like that. A triangular prism has four sides and a base. One, two, three, four. You can see the ends can fold up to make these triangles on the sides. And then it's got a big rectangle on this side and a rectangle on the back side. So if you unfolded it, it would look like this. And this top line would meet that bottom line and they'd make a triangle shape like that, see? And if we stood it on end, then this would be the base 1 and base 2 and it would have three rectangles for lateral faces. It just depends on how it's sitting, okay? The net for a cone shape has one lateral side and one base. It's got a curved bottom and this wraps around like this and this side meets this side and then it's got the circle base that is plugging up the bottom. Now if you try to make it with a regular flat, flat rectangle like this, it's going to have an arc at the bottom. It's got to have a curved convex. Remember convex means going outward. Concave means going inward. It's got to have a curved convex outward going bottom so that it lays flat all around the table. You should try making one of those too to see what happens with a straight bottom or a curved bottom. Okay. This is eight triangles. It looks like a square pyramid on the top and a square pyramid on the bottom, except it's hollow inside. 
So if you were to fold it and put it all the way around, it would look, unfold it and open it up all the way around, it would look like this. Each one of these sides would touch each other, and each one of these sides would touch each other, and it would end up looking like this, sort of like a Christmas ornament, doesn't it? I bet you could make your own Christmas ornaments if you did that. The only thing that you'd have to do to make them stick together is to make little flaps like this so that you could glue them, right? You'd have to make little flaps like that on each one of these so that it could be glued to the next one, right? So yeah, you can make your own Christmas ornaments. Even with these, you can make your own Christmas ornaments or holiday ornaments, okay? So those are solid figures, their nets, and their lateral surfaces, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.